So on today's episode of the Karmic is Alone because no one wants to deal with the clown, um, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna I've been channeling some messages this morning. You should check back for those. So there's there's three other videos that are being gonna be posted at the same time as this video, and so one of them is about how some of you are gonna get a fake apology because the Karmic's scared. She knows that she's screwed. She's exhausted. He or she, male or female, but um. But yeah, one of the videos was about how some of you are going to get an apology. It's a fake apology or your person's going to get an apology and they just want you to know. If it comes from your true love, it's a real genuine apology. You can accept it. But if it comes from a karmic, like like a straight psychopath, and like these karmics in this energy group are psychos. Not all karmics are, but these karmics particularly are psychos. And, you know, the divine wants you to know that, you know, you might be getting, just to reiterate really quickly, then I'm going to get into the next message. You know, you might be getting an apology and they want you to know it's fake. They're just trying to gaslight you. The, the bratty, you know, wannabe, badass, bitchy act isn't working anymore. They're not able to gaslight you. They're not able to gaslight the public anymore. Um, so they're, they might come in with a fake apology because they're hoping that that will balance their karma. But the divine sees right through them. They know that the, the motive behind the apology is just to gaslight you or your person in another way because the anger and domination and control is not working anymore. The brattiness isn't working for them anymore. So now they're going to try Eight of Swords energy, trying to, you know, pull this whole sob story and make people feel bad for them and, you know, promise to change and blah, 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 blah. And um, they just want everyone just, you know, the divine just wants you to know it's a fake apology. Be smarter than that. You know better. Um... And then the other message I got, which is really surprising, because I, I went into some details. So there's two toxic karmics that are, this is either, it could be in like an instant BFF for a lot of you, or it could be like a family member that's helping the karmic. I'm feeling like for a lot of them, it's a um, instant BFF kind of connection here. And they're plotting something illegal or they're plotting something dark. Like these two toxic karmic women or to two toxic karmic men are allying. So they might be like saying like, hey, like, you know, stalk this person on social media or do this or do that. And it's going to go down in flames. Like there's going to be justice there. Th this situation is going to end with these two toxic instant BFFs, you know, at each other's throats doing witchcraft on each other most likely. So don't worry about it. Um, justice will be served. But I wanted to look into, so this is the third video I'm doing. And then there's going to be a fourth one as well. But um, but yeah, if those resonate with you, check those videos as well. They're just little 20-minute videos. I'm sorry that I've been splitting them up. But my phone does not let me record past a certain point. So I'm just cutting them short early and just starting new ones. I mean, might as well because there's, you know, a couple. I mean, it's the same story, but there's different messages here. You know, different titles that need to come through. So it makes sense. But yeah, the karmic is alone because no one wants to deal with a clown. So like I was saying, she's trying, he or she is trying to, they, they just, they, it's like a psychic vampire cut off from their energy source. I was kind of talking about that in that last video too, where the divine masculine has stepped into his power um, or the divine feminine stepped into her power, you know, take it as it resonates or both of you have. And someone's in this like leadership position where it's leading these other people away from the karmic. And this could be spiritually. This could be that this person just stepped into their power so much and took their power back from the karmic that it almost like opened up a path for other people that might not be as strong as a divine masculine to be able to do the same now. These other people are now also taking their energy and their power back from the karmic, from this, this psycho, this succubus. So it's a really beautiful energy here. Um, and yeah, what I'm getting is that, like I said, she has like this new instant BFF for many of you, or he does because no one else will will deal with him or deal with her. So, you know, she's, you know, take it as it resonates, male or female. I'm going to say female, but if, it, if you feel like it's male, then just, you know, take it as male. Um, but yeah, it's like she has this like instant BFF because no one else wants to deal with her. You know, everyone else has raised their vibration away from her. They're sick of her. They're cutting her out. They're tired of her being a clown. And so she, she res that she, you know, found a friend that's like low vibrational like her and they're just using each other. They're pawning off each other, basically. They're, um, yeah. So I went into that already. So check that video. But what I'm feeling here is like, so she's trying to draw, drag her friends and family into this drama, but, and she's trying to be, so her approach now is to play the victim. So for the longest time, the karmics were like, like I said, bratty, thought they were big and bad, thought they were all dominant. 
And like I said, it's because they were draining all these other people of their power and their energy. None of that power actually belongs to that karmic. None of that originated from her. It all originated from her leeching off other people. And she's not able to do that now. She has been cut off from that. The divine has cut her off from that for one thing. And these people are also cutting her off from that as well. You know, people see through her now. It's a really beautiful, good energy. But but yeah, so some of them are, are trying to gaslight you or your person or also the karmic's also trying to gaslight their own friends and family. That's like, that's how much of a psycho the karmic is. Like they're actually trying to gaslight these people because they do not give a shit about anything anymore except for revenge on the, the DM and DF. But keep in mind, you know, these karmics are giving up. They are start. they're, they're exhausted. You know what I mean? Like they might be coming at you with everything right now, but it, it's like that last like that final hurrah or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. The um the final I don't know. You know what I mean? Like they're 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 just giving it all they've got left and they don't have much left. It's an illusion. They're exhausted. I can tap into their energy. I feel them. I feel them crying. I feel their exhaustion. And it's like they're not even crying out of they're not heartbroken. They're crying because they wanted to ruin the divine masculine's life and they don't get to do that now. They're pissed. They felt like like, they wanted to be a little succubus with the Divine Masculine the rest of his life, and now they can't do that because he's cut them out. They're like, oh, my God, no, I'm losing all that money. I'm losing all that power. I'm losing my status. Oh, wah, wah, wah. And they're crying over that. Like, who cries over that? Shut the fuck up. Oh, my gosh. But, um... So, yeah, the karmic is trying to hide behind someone, either mommy or another toxic karmic. I feel like, I feel like most of the, so like I was saying, okay, so I'm sorry, sometimes when I channel, I get all over the place because it's like so much information comes in at once and I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> but what I'm feeling with these karmics is, so like most people have raised their vibration so they can't touch that energy anymore. So the karmic's trying to find a way to gaslight people because, you know, like I said, the bratty approach isn't working. The, the you know, I'm big and bad and scary and you better listen to me or else. It's not, a, it's not working. People are like, dude, you're a little girl. Shut up. You know, go sit back down. <laughs> like, just shush. Like, no one's believing it anymore. They're like, you're, you're ridiculous. Just stop. So some of these karmics are trying another approach now where they're trying to play the victim. They are trying to get an eight of swords energy. Like, you know, I'm not angry anymore. I'm just so hurt. I just love him so much. I just want him back. This is unfair. They don't love the DM. These karmics do not give a shit about the DM. They just want someone to be able to... They're psychic vampires. They wanted someone to drain their entire lives. Like, if you're a DM, you might have noticed when you're around this person, you feel drained, you feel exhausted. It's because on a psychic level, this person is a succubus, and they were draining your energy. They're mad that they don't have their energy source anymore. They don't have your money anymore, Divine Masculines. They don't have you know, your protection anymore. They don't have the status that they had with you. They don't have, you know, everyone sees through them now without you because you were, you were what was protecting them from the public, from seeing through them. And now they don't have that and everyone knows who they really are. There's no going back from that. Um, so please keep that in mind. Like the karmic's not, they don't give a shit about you. Like male or female, they do not give a flying fuck about you. They want your money. They want revenge on you. Some of them hate you. Some of them hate you so much that they were actually willing to have an entire relationship with you just to make you suffer. Like, who even does that? They were, like, so hell-bent. Like, they thought it was justice. It wasn't justice. There was no justice there. Um, but they were so hell-bent on, like, having revenge on you that they actually were willing to fake an entire relationship with you and stay with you just to torture you and yell at you and belittle you and break you down every day. This is a psychopath. This is a straight up psychopath and you were their victim. You were their target. Okay. You got to watch yourself. You got to watch your back. You got to protect yourself. And this person's pissed that they don't have that energy source from you anymore. It's not about love. It was never about love for them. They're, they're mad that they don't have the energy from you anymore. They're mad that they don't have your money anymore. They're mad that, you know, justice is being served now and they're screwed. And they're scared, you know what I mean? So please, you know, like I was saying, if, if you get an apology from a karmic that abused you or abused your person, please know that it's fake. You know, it's very different than the energy of a car of apology from a true love. You know, use your intuition here. You're going to know if, if, if it's a, a karmic apology, you need to let that shit go. It's all fake. I went into, the, into that already, but, but basically what I'm getting is... Um, 
She's taking this Eight of Swords approach now. So Eight of Swords, it's like someone self-sabotage, someone playing the victim, someone, you know, pretending, like someone just, I mean, it's not always like this, but I mean, it, it's just, I, I see it as in this context. It's like, it's, it's like she's, she's playing the victim by choice. She's trying to make people think she's a victim. She's trying to gaslight her own friends and family because everybody sees through the pouting now. They don't think it's cute anymore. They're like, you look like a little girl that didn't get her to eat her fucking ice cream at after dinner or whatever. Like you, you look like a child. Like people are starting to call her out. And it's kind of that energy of like, have you ever had someone that, um, that like, like they just are so set on, they're so delusional and so set in their ways and so set in believing what they want to believe that they will argue with you. Like for those of you that are like tarot readers, you might be getting tarot readings, you know, to karmics right now, even where they're like, they're, they're arguing with you. Like you tell them like, Hey, this man doesn't want you. Like, and this, please, if, if I give you a reading and you're a karmic, you're, 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 you're not one of the karmics in this group. Like these are a special set of like toxic psychopath karmics. So please keep that in mind that not all, all not all karmics are toxic. You know, I, I know some really good people that are in karmic situations. It's, it doesn't mean you're bad. It becomes toxic when you try to hold on to the karmic situation when it's time to let it go. And um, so please keep that in mind that I'm not referring to you guys. Because I, I personally have not read anybody. I haven't done a reading for any of the karmics in this energy group. But I know some of you that are tarot readers, you probably have. Some of you have your own channels probably. And you've probably done readings for the karmics where they're like, you're telling them. You're like, dude, like this person doesn't want you. This person doesn't give a shit. And she's like, so when is he coming back? <laughs> and you're just like, dude, like, you got the three of swords. You got the ten of swords. Like, you got you got the fool card with him starting a life with his divine feminine or divine masculine. And she's like, okay, so what do I do to get him back? Like, when is he coming back? Like, like and it's just like, dude, what? <laughs> like, they're delusional. Like, you're telling them straight up. You're like, dude, like, you're it, it's over. It's not happening. <laughs> like, they don't want you. They don't want you. Like, you're, and again, you might be a karmic and you may be in good energy. It doesn't mean that you're, you know, if, if you're a psycho, if you're the slit your tires type, punch them in the face type, then yeah, you're probably one of the karmics in this energy group. But I, I personally have not done a, per, a private reading for any karmics in this energy group. So please don't don't assume that this is you. This isn't you, you know. But um, but yeah, it's like that energy where it's like, have you ever had like those of you that are tarot readers? Have you experienced that where you've done a reading for someone and like you're telling them you're like, girl, like move on. There's somebody better for you. There's somebody better for them. Like you can have more than this. And they're just like, so what do I do to get him back? Can you do witchcraft on him? Can you do a love spell on him? And she's just like, dude, no, I can't. But at a certain point, the tarot reader is just kind of like, like, doesn't know what to do. It's like, you know, she's like, okay, like, I told, like, okay, it is what it is. Like, have a nice day. I don't know what to say. Like, you know, it's, it's like that kind of energy where the karmic is so delusional that she will argue with tarot readers. She will actually go to these physical places and buy tarot readings. And she either has, like, a tarot reader or a psychic that's, like, ripping her off and scamming her for money. Or some of them, like have readers that are um like for most I feel like even if someone was scamming her in the past I feel like even that person's tired of it like this person that was scamming her this psychic that was scamming her this tarot reader that was telling her what she wanted to hear even she's tired of it even she kind of feels bad for the karmic at this point you know even she even the psychic is like dude like like maybe it's time to move on like she doesn't even want to do it anymore she doesn't like some of them some of them have psychics doing magic on on you or your person and it's not working and it's actually coming back on the psychic and she's realizing that it's not worth it that she needs to just stay out of it so because like i said the, the magic doesn't work we've gone over that like the hexes that the karmic does they don't even work anymore they're just they're blocked from hexing they're just they're, they're powerless now you know, if you feel like you need to protect yourself, do it. I mean, physically protect yourself for sure. Like, you know, watch your back because they, they, they are psychos. But I mean, as far as hexes go, they can't do jack shit. And anything they try to do at all, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, astrally, whatever, it's coming back on them tenfold and they know it. And that's already begun. That process has already begun. And that's what I'm going to get into in the next video. But anyway, like, like even these psychics are like, dude, like get the fuck over it. And I feel like she's gaslighting her friends and family and being like playing the victim and like, you know, it's like she's so delusional and bratty that they just kind of agree with it because they're tired of it. But she can kind of feel that energy. It's like, you know, she's trying to wrap them into it where she, you know, 
It's like she might be talking to like a mom or a cousin or, a, you know, some kind of friend or family member or like a, you know, someone she's known a while. And she's like, oh, like I cheated on him, but, you know, it it was justified. I mean, I had to cheat on him with his friend. It was totally justified. And this other person that's not a psychopath is like, dude, what? <laughs> or, or the karmic is just constantly, she's just constantly whining about how she wants the divine masculine's money. How she's like, how this is unjustified. She's constantly trying to like drag people into her drama, friends and family. She's trying to gaslight her own friends and family. And a lot of these people just agree with her because they're so sick of hearing about it. And they've tried to stand up in the past. They've tried to be like, girl, you're delusional. Check yourself. Look in the mirror. He doesn't want you anymore. Get over it. He never, he probably never wanted a lot of these karmics. It's like the divine masculine has been over them for a long time. I don't know how they don't see that. Um, but I feel like in the past there's been like a cousin or like an aunt or like, or like a mother or someone that kind of stood up to the, up to this toxic karmic, like their mom might've been like, dude, like he doesn't want you. Like he moved on. Like let's focus our energies elsewhere. Why don't we manifest someone new for you? You know, like maybe they have like a mom that's a witch and their mom's like, why don't we manifest somebody new for you? He doesn't want you anymore. And she just loses her shit and throws a temper tantrum and goes off. Um, or, you know, like their mom's, her, you know, her mom or cousin or who or friend or whoever is like, you know, like, like maybe it's time to move on. Like maybe there's, you know, like, like maybe it's time to start the healing process and the karmic just loses her shit. She's just like, she won't hear anything that she doesn't want to hear. So she'll, she's just hell bent. She'll just argue. She'll be like, you're wrong. Pull the cards again. I think, I mean, I know the three of swords and 10 of swords came out, but pull them again. Maybe they'll say something else this time. You know, like, like, no, there's got to be something we can do. Some of them, like, they're, they're, they're having someone help them with witchcraft, and the witchcraft is backfiring on the person that's helping them. Like, they're having, like, a friend or family member help them do witchcraft, and this, the candles are going out, or shit's going wrong for this person that's helping them. Like, all that bad karma is going back on them. And so this person's like, dude, I don't want to get into this anymore. I think we've bitten off more than we can chew. Let's just, let's just move on. Like, I'm here for you. We'll find someone new for you. Why don't we just heal and move on? Like, this person doesn't even want to help this person anymore. Even if they did in the past, they don't want to help them anymore. Um, or for some, this is like upcoming energy. Because like I said, for some, this could be like an instant BFF karmic connection that we talked about where it's like she's going to help her in the moment, but then at a certain point, she's going to realize, someone's going to realize that they bit off more than they can chew and that it's not worth getting dragged into this toxic karmic's drama with them. And they're going to they're gonna have some beef right here. Um because, yeah, I'm getting for some, for some, you've already come into this energy. For some, you're about to come into this energy. But I'm just getting the sense that, like, it could even actually be that the talk, the karmic's mother was helping her do witchcraft. And then the witchcraft started coming back on her mom. And, like, the candles started going out or just everything, like, went, was going to shit. And so now her mom is like, dude, I don't want to do this, actually. Let's move on. Like, this isn't really worth it anymore. We can find you that much money somewhere else. Like, let's manifest you a new rich man somewhere else. Like, you know, whatever. And so some of these, for some, that's what just happened. And now that's why they're turning to this instant toxic BFF connection with this woman that's practically a stranger to them. Because their own mother does not have their back anymore. Someone in their family has actually cut them out and been like, not completely cut them out, but like been to the point where they're like, dude, I'm not doing the witchcraft for you anymore. I'm tired of this. Like, or they're getting close to that point. They might not be there yet, but they're, they're starting to see the bad karma coming in. So they're pretty, if, they, if this mother figure or whoever this is has not given up already, they're about too soon because they're going to see that it's not working. And they're also going to see that it's coming back on them tenfold for even helping the, their toxic daughter. So it's not going to be worth it to them. But yeah, it's just like this energy of someone that's like, like she's so delusional. It's like she's so, like she's trying to, you know, she's talking to these family members and like showing them pictures of you or pictures of your person and being like, you know, oh, I was treated so unfairly. And like these friends and family members are just sick of hearing about it. They're like, dude, get the hell over it. Like it's a lost cause. He does not want you. He's never going to want you again. Some of them tried doing love spells on the masculine too, and it didn't even touch him. He is that disgusted by the karmic that they, some of them tried doing love spells and he didn't even feel it. He's that disgusted and that over the karmic that he doesn't even feel the love spell at this point. He's like, ew, no, ew. Like, like he nipped that shit in the bud quick. Um, 
Oh my gosh, this energy is so ridiculous. That's funny though. It makes me laugh because their justice is being served and it makes me happy. But um, but yeah, I just get the I just get them like almost like at a family reunion or like in like a crowded room like with their relatives and they're like, look at her picture, look how uh, look at look at what she looks like or look what he looks like, like look at this bitch, like like just drama, drama, drama. Like oh maybe he'll love me again. And when people disagree with her, she stamps her foot and throws a tantrum. And she argues with them. She's like, no, you're wrong. Like I am gonna get him back. You know, I'm totally, I'm going to get my revenge. I'm going to get his money. I'm going to get everything I wanted from him. You know, and like I said, these karmics don't even want love from him. They just want revenge. They wanted to ruin his life and they're pissed that they can't ruin his life now. Who does that? Who the fuck would be in a relationship with someone just for the purpose of ruining that person's life? That's how toxic this karmic is. That she was a psychopath and she was gaslighting and using this empathic man so these masculines are very powerful so he has a lot of empathy even if he's not aware of it he has a lot of energy and so she was she had like a major energy source she hit the gold mine when it comes to money when it comes to his energy when it comes to all of it and she wants that back she doesn't want him back she just wants the energy back she wants to drain him more she wants to you know she wants to gaslight him some more she wants to feel that feeling of power and control again um, so yeah, no one's feeling sorry for her anymore because it's like, they're, like she's a psycho and she's telling other people like, oh, he, like I cheated on him, but I'm the victim here. And these people are like, dude, no, you're not. He's the victim. Even her own friends and family are starting to side with the masculine. Like I wouldn't trust, if you're a divine masculine, I would not trust her friends and family because I mean, ultimately they're still going to have her back to some degree. But even some of her friends and family are thinking like, damn, like, Maybe she, like, they're, they're questioning things. Like, because I feel like she lied about this masculine to them a lot. And now they're seeing what a psycho she is. And they're like, damn, like, I wonder if, if all of that was true. I wonder if maybe um, he was actually the victim there. Like, some of them are questioning their own, like, own karmic friend or family member. Um, it doesn't mean that they would have the DMs back. It just means that, like, they're they're realizing they're they're realizing that there's two sides to the story. Finally, where they're, they're realizing that this this karmic had gaslit them, and so they're not allowing that anymore. Um, because it's just this energy where she's trying to drag them into drama, and like they're they're protecting their own energy from her. Like they're nodding and agreeing because, like I said, she'll still throw a tantrum if they don't agree with her. She'll argue with them because she's delusional. You know, she'll be like, oh, no, I really am going to get him back. Like, he told me he hates me and wants nothing to do with me, but we're just going through a phase. It's nothing. It's just just joking, just like old pals do. It's nothing. I'll get him back. Like, she's fucking crazy. <laughs> she's so delusional. Oh, these karmics are so freaking delusional. Um, Just joshing, just being a silly goose. It's not real. It's It's, we're just going through a phase. Like, no, you're not. He really just hates you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Or, you know, whatever. It's just, it's just no. Or divine feminines, like, you, you, you know, just, you hate, you know, some of you are dealing with a karmic man that hit you and abused you, and he's telling his friends and family this, and they're just not believing it. Whatever, male or female. But, um, I'm going to cut this video short soon, and then I'm going to do the fourth video, so please check back for that if this is your story. Again, sorry about my camera phone. I'm just trying to figure it out right now. But yeah, it's like she's trying to drag them into drama and they're protecting their energy from her. Like they're not getting sucked into the drama anymore. So they're agreeing with her because if they argue and say, hey, you need to move on already. She's, you know, she goes in her little delusional temper tantrum and they don't want to deal with the drama. But they're, they're distancing themselves from her. She's about to lose her friends and family members if she keeps this up. They don't want to hear about the divine masculine anymore. They, they all know that he doesn't give a shit about her. They all know that he's moved on and she's looking like Boo Boo the fucking clown over here. Trying to tell them that he's gonna he's gonna come back to her and she's gonna be able to use him and blah blah blah, like they all know better by now. But some of them like, like they nod and agree because they're like, oh, I can't argue with her. She's gonna she's gonna lose her shit. She's gonna key my car up. She's gonna we're gonna get in a screaming match at this family reunion if I tell her the truth. So sure, sure, honey, I'm sure he's coming back tomorrow. I'm sure he's just on his way back to any moment now. Uh huh. I'm gonna go over here where the doors doors are. I'm gonna go talk to cousin Bobby over here. Okay, I'll 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 get back to you later. Like they're just like, they're like nodding. They're giving that that look like that nod and just agree and just try to let it pass. Like they're they don't believe her anymore. They know that she's crazy. They know she's delusional. Her own friends and family members see through her now. This is justice being served. 
And, um, gosh, it's just, so yeah, a lot of them are agreeing with her, but they've already taken their energy back. They're already cutting her out mentally, emotionally. They're already like kind of ignoring her text sometimes, like her, her text messages, like, oh, like I can't come for coffee today. I'm kind of busy. I'm working, but maybe next week. Like they're getting sick of her. Her own friends and family members are like, she's gone on such a downward spiral and she's so, you know, just her desire for revenge. She's just so hell bent on revenge and she's just so crazy that like, you know, people, people are just done being dragged into the drama with her. And she's so fixated that it's like, they can't, she doesn't talk about anything else. She just, she's like, look at this bitch. Like she's like so used to them being in this low vibration with her. And now these people are like, dude, ew, no. Like, I think, like, they're seeing the truth finally, you know? So, it's like, some of these people, it's like, some of them, their friends and family are thinking about cutting them out for good. Like, they haven't yet. But they're like, okay, if I see this bitch one more time and she tries to ask me to do a spell or she tries to drag me into her drama or she shows me this picture of someone I don't even know to tell me how ugly they look I'm probably not going to see her for coffee again for the next year like I'm going to just be done with her some of the, some of these people are actually about to be done with the karmic like their own friends and family members and this is justice because this person is a fucking psychopath this is what they deserve the karmic does not care about anyone but herself and her own friends and family are seeing that because her friends or family will have something they're going through. Like, they'll they'll come crying to her and they'll have something going on. And she'll make it about herself. Like, like she'll have, like, a cousin that calls her crying. Like, you know, I'm going through this. Like, I'm going through a divorce. And the karmic doesn't feel a damn thing for her cousin. The karmic is just like, oh, I could use this to my advantage. Yeah, screw all men. Let's, let's, um, let's team up. Let's, I'm going through the same thing. And the karmic starts talking about herself. And her cousin is just like, dude. I'm crying on the phone. Why the hell are you telling me about what you're going through with this man that doesn't even want you? Like, the karmics do not give a shit about anyone but themselves. They deserve to be alone. People that do not care about anyone but themselves deserve to be alone. You know? They really do. She is a psycho. You need to be mindful of that. Um, the only person they care about is their kids, is what I'm getting. That's it. They don't care. They don't give a shit about their mother, their daddy. They don't give a shit. It's just their kids. That's all they care about. Um, but yeah, these delusional karmics need to accept that the DM is not coming back to them. And they kind of have a choice to make now because they're very close to losing friends and family too. Um, so they can keep being selfish psychopaths and have their friends and family cut them out as well. Um, or they can change and actually try to be mindful of, you know, what their own friends and family are going through and actually not just obsess and try to drag their friends and family into drama and just talk about this person it's like an obsession it's like you ever have that friend that's like delusional where she's like is it coming back is it coming back like I, I want his money I want him you know like what's going on with him what's going on oh my god I think he I think that I saw him driving down the street today what do you think about that can you look into that for me like just like just obsessed and not even obsessed with him as a person, just obsessed with revenge, obsessed with power, obsessed with control, obsessed with all this toxic energy. So yeah, they need to decide, do they want to lose their friends? And they already lost the DM. He's not coming back. So, but do they, do they want to lose their friends and family too? Because their friends and family are also about to cut their asses out. Their friends and family are also to that point where they're like, dude, I'm done with this. Like, I'm done hearing about it. I'm done listening. Like, they're nodding and agreeing. They're going along with it, but they're detached emotionally. Like, they don't, you know, they're just agreeing because they're delusional. Because the karmic's delusional. And the karmic doesn't even give a shit because the karmic is so delusional that as long as someone's agreeing with her, she'll she'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, I think deep down, some part of her has to know that they're done with this bullshit. They're done with her drama. They don't want to hear about this person anymore that doesn't want her. They, they just don't want to hear it. They're... You know, everyone's seeing through her. So, yeah, the karmics have some decisions to make. If they Do they want to just lose the DM or do they want to lose everybody that they loved? Everybody. Because, and this is their own karma. This is them doing it to themselves. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this video out. Um, like I said, if you want to email me for a private reading, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is below in the description box below this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and check back for those other three videos as well. I'm going to post these all at the same time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment too. You know, it puts me in the algorithm um, for YouTube to promote these videos. So please just, even if it's just a hi or a heart, it, it, it promotes these videos for me. So I appreciate that. Thank you all so much for watching.